Clean water is as essential as fresh air. For all property and business owners, families and residents, the Roxborough Water and Sanitation District wants you to know its Board of Directors is planning to build a new water treatment plant. This is the remaining piece of essential infrastructure needed to ensure a secure and valuable community for decades to come. But first, let's take a look at the outdated facility built way back in 1958. That's over 50 years ago. My name is Brian Billick. I'm an operator at Roxborough Water since 2002. And as you can see, the building is showing its age. Right over Brian's head are exposed wrought iron rebar through the concrete overhang. And over here, the exterior at the clarifier is literally crumbling. And that's not the first time it's been repaired. In fact, the district has been able to extend the life of this facility while two other key funding issues were successfully accomplished. The 13-mile pipeline, built in 2007, which regionalized wastewater services with Littleton Inglewood, and the 2010 permanent raw water supply agreement with the city of Aurora. Now let's take a look inside. You'll see corrosion and deterioration to all essential structures at the existing water treatment plant. It's literally everywhere. You can see it all along the pipes, the floors, the walls, even the ceiling is peeling off. A facility of this type typically lasts about 30 years. The district has made reasonable repairs and updates to stretch it another 20, but it would now take two to four million dollars to maintain the current facility as is. All the while, structural failures, meeting water demand, and regulations would still be serious concerns. And should a structural failure occur, the district would be forced to build a new plant immediately and restrict all of your outdoor water usage until a new plant is online. That could take up to two years. It is the district's desire to not put our community in such dire straits. Rest assured, however, providing you with clean, safe, quality water has never been an issue, nor is it today. Brian will do daily tests, weekly tests, bi-monthly tests, monthly tests. I mean, there's always testing going on to assure you that the water is going to be clean and safe to drink. To recap, the primary issues are, number one, this plant has reached critical demand capacity of 2 million gallons per day the past several summers. Despite improved water conservation practices, the annual average consumption of water per household the past five years has been 80,330 gallons. Number two, the district must maintain a sufficient water supply for fire flow protection. Number three, the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment regulates capacity limits. We know the old plant would not treat enough potable water for the near future. That's why the board has determined a new water treatment plant that doubles the current capacity is a must-have. The new plant will also have a 50-year useful lifespan. To best answer many of your questions and explain the latest information, please go to our website tab under Capital Improvements for a comprehensive list of frequently asked questions. For today's community water needs and those of the future, it's time to complete the final remaining piece of Roxborough's water reliability. During my lifetime, I will need 3,500,000 gallons of water. 